And um, well, there's one thing I would like to say, I don't know if it's the proper place to say. I'm happy about the course, but um, there has been one teacher which I would describe as the opposite of critical thinking. And uh, yeah. And I want to let you know since you work in the university and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, you're not going on to a master's now, yeah. um, by the way, did you, do you know what job you've got yet? No, I'm with the company, so I'm discussing salary. Still waiting, okay. Yeah, negotiating, it takes right. And so in that case, imagine you get a job like the one we talked about in Vietnam. Yeah. Which parts of these skills do you think will be the most applicable in the working world? Well... <laughs> In Vietnam, I think critical thinking is going to be really important because everybody knows how politics are there and so how the medias are shaped. And thus working in the tourism industry or any other industry, you will have to make some researches on the market. But you need to be aware that what you're reading may not be 100% a mirror of reality. And do all presentation skills as well because if you have to communicate to clients, if it's okay, private client is going to be on the phone. If it's business to business communication, probably I will have to present something to them in a room. Anybody else? Do you think, you mentioned the internationality of, of, of studying for the first time for people from such a diverse backgrounds, you've got people from, uh, a couple of you from Europe, you also India, Africa, and various planets. Um, do you think it's an advantage to be European to studying in Britain or not? Yes. In what way? Because, first of all, cultural flat factors will not influence you as much as they may influence somebody who's coming from a totally alien culture from England. Um, secondly, I think that European university systems are different from each other, but thanks even to the Erasmus and like the guidelines given by the European Union, they're getting closer and closer. And then, of course, I had the chance to do a university where, I mean, it was focused on languages, which means most of my teachers were natives. And so it was like a mix between the Italian system, but, ex but the lessons were given by people who were used to the British, British system. So it was, yeah, I think that people coming from outside of Europe, it's much more difficult. Okay. Anything, Andy? No, I did have a question, but I completely forgot what I was You said, uh, this, this won't lead to a question, but you said something very interesting on learning styles, and I did have a question on it, but it's gone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Side though, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Everything okay? Everything okay? No, no, just to send me something.